Hey legends, it's David from Trail Adventures USA. Today we're gonna to start the three-part process for lifting the Colorado ZR2. Now, as many of you already know, the Colorado ZR2 has the Multimatic DSSV shocks. Therefore, it doesn't get a lot of support from the off-road manufacturers regarding lift kits for this truck. Now, you guys already know that BDS makes a terrific lift, four to five inches. If I was to do that and put the 35 inch tires on my truck, I probably wouldn't be able to fit in the garage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a different route. We're gonna use a 1.25 inch body lift on the truck. Then we're gonna install the leveling spacer at the top of the strut. This will actually help to get us level front to back. Then we're gonna remove the spring from the strut and use a larger spring provided by iBox suspension. The rear of the truck will get an add leaf. This is going to help with load carrying capacity and then to help compensate for that larger spring. Once again, keeping it level front to back. We're also gonna use a diff spacer provided by peak suspension to help drop the differential slightly to help keep everything aligned underneath so that there's no additional stress on the half shafts and on the CV joints. So stay tuned, crack open a cold beer, and if you know someone who has a ZR2, have them follow along as we prepare to lift the Colorado ZR2. Let's measure how much clearance we have currently. Thirty-six and three quarters. Let's see what we get when we're done. At the front of the truck, we already have the CBI half bumper installed. Now, if you don't have the half bumper installed, this lift kit will be a little more difficult to install on the Colorado ZR2, but it can be done. Just follow the manufacturer's guidelines. At the front of the truck, near the core support, you have two body mounts. Remove these bolts. Just behind your frame slider, you should see a large body mount bolt. There should be a total of three. Remove these bolts. On the passenger side, continue to remove the bed bolts. On the driver's side, loosen all of the bed bolts and body mount bolts. Using a 21 millimeter, go ahead and remove the front body mount bolts. Use a 20 millimeter to loosen the nut on the rest of the body mounts along the passenger side. With an 18 millimeter socket and a long extension, remove the bolts that hold the bed to the chassis. Adequately block your tires and use a floor jack on your frame sliders to lift the body. Now this will be the one time you're happy that your frame sliders are actually attached to the body. Use an approved thread locker on all threads and hardware. Slide the body mount spacer as seen here and then insert your hardware. Proceed to do this with all the remaining chassis to body mounts. Carefully, I inserted my head and shoulder into the wheel well and lifted up on the truck bed. I then inserted this puck into place. It fit perfect. Okay, so now that you have the eight body mounts for the front of the truck all taken care of, now it's time to start working on the bed. Now, you're gonna insert the puck at the top. Use an 18 millimeter bolt and wrench to tighten everything down. Okay, so after you have the bed bolts all back in place, you're gonna go through and you're gonna measure the gap on both sides of the vehicle. Make sure that you have it gapped out properly. So um, if you have a gapping tool, that's fine. If you're just gonna use a tape measure, that's fine. If you just wanna eyeball it, it's up to you. Um, this one's looking pretty good. Okay, legends, now that we've got the body lift all installed, unfortunately, we can't go any farther today. Unfortunately, peak suspension dropped the ball on the, the delivery of the other suspension components. So we're gonna end this video here uh, we'll pick up another episode when the uh, springs and uh, the rest of the lift come. Uh, but now I just wanted to finish up with a final measurement here to see where we're at. And we're measuring 38 and a quarter. So 38 and a quarter, and that's just with the body lift on right now. Um, tires have already been delivered. Um, I wanna send a special shout out to the guys over at Tire Rack for getting those delivered. and. Um, I'm not going to tell you what they are, I'm going to save that for the installation, but they are 35 inches and this is going to look epic. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Click subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll see you on the next one.